Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we're going to be talking about all of the different supplies that you can purchase over at Ikea for reptiles, invertebrates, maybe some other pets as well. I'm also joined here with Monty, my ball python. I know a lot of you guys ask about Monty a lot, so I decided to include him in today's video because he is the OG of this channel, my very first ever snake. So I thought that he should be here for today's video. In case you don't know what Ikea is, Ikea is basically just a really big Swedish furniture store. They also have like a food court and they sell just a ton of stuff. Basically everything at Ikea is just extremely affordable and if you get creative and use things at Ikea, instead of using things that are marketed for pets or reptiles or whatever it may be, you're gonna save a lot of money. So I actually had to go to Ikea. This was a few months ago now, it was a while ago, but I went there to get some things for some of my enclosure upgrades for my pets actually. And while I was there, I filmed the footage for this video. These are life-changing money savers, I'm telling you. The very first thing we're gonna talk about are tables are extremely just inexpensive. You can get tables at Ikea almost for cheaper than you can get tables that are used on like Facebook Marketplace. And I've seen people on Facebook Marketplace sell Ikea tables for more expensive than they are at Ikea new. Not really sure, maybe they forgot that they spent $10 on it at Ikea. Ikea has LAC tables. They come in different sizes, but the 21 inch LAC table, it's 21 by 21, is $10. There's a 35 inch table that's $30. So that's just extremely cheap for a table and you can get a couple of them and kind of put them next to each other and they make really good stands for enclosures. Like if you have an Exoterra that you don't want to just set on the ground, you can get a lac table for 10 bucks and set your enclosure on top of that. If you have a long enclosure, like I said, there's the longer tables or you could get a couple of the lac tables and put them side by side. And there you go, you have a really cheap enclosure stand. And over in our office where we have some of Maddie's animals, we actually use lac tables to hold up the snake enclosures in there, and it works really well. This next one is just mainly going to be useful to you if you have kind of like a lot of reptiles, maybe you have a reptile room like me. I know that's not something that's super, like everyone has like a room full of reptiles or a ton of them, but some people do. And if you do, you might find the rolling utility cart at Ikea to be extremely helpful. I just saw this and I was like, that would be perfect for organizing like feeders, like you put all your feeders in there and different supplements and stuff and organize them. And what's nice is since it's on wheels, you could literally just roll it around your like reptile room or your house, whatever it might be to like feed your different animals. Now this next one, was a real game changer for me because I do bioactive setups and for bioactives you usually need to have a drainage layer which people usually use hydro balls for. Now Zoomed makes hydro balls and I used to get my hydro balls from Zoomed but then I discovered Ikea also sells hydro balls. This is what it looks like. It's called Od Odla, Od Odla, I don't know, Odla, O-D-L-A. These are just Hydra Balls, and they're really cheap at Ikea. The Ikea bag is about four to five pounds, and it's only six dollars. But if you get the Zoomed Hydra Balls that are marketed towards reptiles, you're gonna spend eight dollars on a bag that's only two and a half pounds. So you get twice as many with the Ikea brand, and it's even cheaper. And to kind of go along with the bioactive setups, if you wanna get more things for bioactive setups from Ikea, they actually have a really good selection of plants, like live plants that you can use in bioactive reptile enclosures. Not all of the plants they sell will necessarily be safe for a terrarium, so you do need to make sure whatever you're getting is safe to keep with reptiles, but they do have a very good variety of plants. Now again, when I went this specific time, they were just really low in stock on the plants and didn't have a great variety, but usually they have a ton of plants, ton of variety, and everything there is really cheap. They sell really big plants too, like trees that would be really good if you have like a big chameleon enclosure or something, and they're only like $30. So this next one you guys probably already know of, and that is the Ikea Detolf. 
So the Detolf is basically just a glass shelving unit. It's 64 inches by 16 inches. People often use the IKEA Detolf as like a makeshift hamster cage, which is a really good idea. However, hear me out. I thought that the Detolf would be really good potentially to use as a reptile enclosure as well because it's literally just like a glass enclosure essentially. Um, you will probably need to make some modifications to it. You might need to make your own lid. It's only $60 which is so much cheaper than you could get any reptile enclosure that's 64 inches long. And also just another random idea, I've also seen people turn like dressers and sh other shelves and stuff into reptile enclosures. So if you wanted to do something like that as well, I'm really not handy so I have no idea how people do things like that. But if you think you know how, then Ikea is just a good place to get cheap furniture if you want to turn it into something else, like an enclosure, for example. So next, they sell a set of 17 food storage containers. But hear me out, it's only $6. For a set of 17 containers, they come in all different sizes. And the uses for these are endless. My very first thought is you could poke ventilation holes in them, and some of them would be really good to keep tarantula slings in, or even like little scorpions or something, just inverts in general, anything small and you need like a plastic container for. Some of them were really good sizes for that. You can also obviously use them to store like gecko food, pangea, food for your feeders. You could even keep feeders in them if you put ventilation holes in them. Possibilities are endless with these. They're literally pretty much just Tupperware containers, but it's a set of 17 for $6, which is just really cheap. And then they have plastic storage bins. They have different sizes. The ones that are 15 by 11 inches are only $2 though, so they're really cheap. Again, you can use these for like anything. You could keep tarantulas in them, roaches, feeders, scorpions, and they also have like clear bins as well as ones that are opaque depending on what your needs are. And then next, you can get food and water dishes from Ikea for really cheap for your reptiles. Uh, they sell little glass bowls that would literally make perfect food or water dishes for only $2, which is a lot cheaper than, again, ones marketed for reptiles would be. And what's nice about the glass ones is they're kind of heavy, so they're hard to knock over. But then if your reptile is really small and you're not worried about it knocking over the water dish, then they have plastic ones that are only 49 cents and they're the same size. And then last but not least, they sell a litter tray, obviously probably supposed to be used for cats as a cat litter box, but this would actually make a really good hide if you have like a bigger snake because on one side of the box, uh, the lip kind of like goes up and it just creates like a good little entrance for your snake or uh, any reptile maybe even to just kind of sneak under it and use it as a hide. And it's again, pretty decent size. So it'd be good for a bigger snake. Sometimes it's hard to find hides that are big enough for larger reptiles. So that's a really good option. And then if you flip it right side up, you could even use it as a large water dish. And that litter tray is only $6. So there you go, $6 very big water dish or $6 very large hide. That, my friends, is all of the things that I found at Ikea that I thought you could use for your reptiles. And this is literally just like I went to Ikea and I was frantically looking around and I was like looking at things and I was like, what could you use this for? So I kind of went in blindly, not that much thought went into this. There might be other things at Ikea that you would also find useful. So if you guys know of anything that you can use at Ikea for your pets that I did not mention in this video, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm sure we would all find them useful. And I really love Ikea and I would love to be able to get more things from Ikea for much cheaper than I could get them at like PetSmart, you know? Yeah. I love Ikea. Ikea, please sponsor me. Send me your clay balls. I need them. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys liked it or found it useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Check me out on all of my other social medias, which will be down in the description below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.